What's going on everybody? Today we're in the front yard going to take a look at this Kentucky bluegrass and see how it's dealing with this brutal transition zone heat because we are well into July, about two thirds of the way through with it. Let's see how it's holding up. I have had a good bit of dieback on the perennial ryegrass. Honestly, most of it's all the way gone. The terrible areas I have there are kind of up in this bit here in this corner. That was from my washout that happened about a week after seeding or a couple days after seeding. And I threw down actually a little bit more perennial rye in that area. So that zone was a little more rye than KBG. But the KBG is still thriving and I don't really know how. So I've had some of that dieback and I've also had, oh boy, a lot of Bermuda comeback, but I'm not worried about that because I'm making the transition into 100% Bermuda. So this is just kind of doing it the opposite way. So fertilization this year has been minimal, minimal input. That's been my goal this entire season. The front yard, I've done a couple X screen applications. In the spring, I did one like a half a pound to end. Well, that doesn't seem like a whole lot. Oh boy, I had to mow, 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 and mow. I mowed so much, I was putting down T-Nex in March. I've been using the Depth 10 Plus starting around November, did an application then, did another application in February when it was warming up some, then did another one in March. I was running just about one and a half ounces, two ounces per thousand square feet there, nothing crazy. I then switched over and started using the Depth MFT and FFF. I did an initial application of those at one ounce of each per thousand square feet. Then I switched over, switched solely to MFT, and I'm running it at rates of three ounces per thousand. I also have some feature left over. It's rather hard to find now, but running the feature in there as well, the MFT feature combo, and I'm gonna have to find some more feature or a product like feature because that produces color that is just, wow, absolutely beautiful, beautiful color response. I'm People saw the yarn like, that's the Berenberg HGT. Wow, I've never seen it that green. It's usually kind of yellow. So fantastic color results with that combination there. So outside of the initial X green application, a half a pound, and then another one around Memorial Day of a quarter pound, that's the only like high end levels I've been putting on the lawn. Everything else has been the end supplied with the peptides and those are at a low rate. I was a little curious today and I wanted to see, you know, how the roots are doing because the root hair promoting peptides, root growth. I wanted to see how it's actually working because I've been using it a long time. I believe in it enough to actually start selling it so is it doing what i thought it would do let's just take a look okay so here we have this here i took out i actually used the sunday soil sample for this and just kind of went around it kind of like you were digging a tree and it, it worked pretty well i inserted it to this upper mark here then kind of started wiggling it back and forth to pull it out let me throw some pictures up real quick here. That'll show you the size of the core I pulled out. And then I started rinsing it off with the misting setting on my garden hose to see the actual root mass. And you can see the grass is a little on the taller side. This is from a lawn that was planted late August of last year. I had a washout and a disease issue during the seeding process or in the germination time frame and then it came back strong and for the temperatures we've been facing right now today's the first day we've had in probably over 10 days that have not been 90 degrees the soil temperatures have been in the upper 90s so to have this level of just root mass is amazing even side piece is doing pretty good now outside of my initial teenex application back in march i haven't done any i really didn't feel like it except for side piece the side piece actually got something extra that the main front didn't and that was just 
I had a little bit left over when I sprayed the backyard, so I sprayed this. It's just being watered with the cheap little sprinkler kits, and it's doing really well. And I wish I kind of would have had the entire yard, front yard done with the T-Nex because I feel that the side area, and this gets pretty much full sun all day long, because the track of the sun pretty much follows right down the middle here. And it's holding up a lot better to the heat and lack of rain. We've had pretty much no rain except for the past two days we get some afternoon thunder showers. It's been holding up fantastic, even with the cheap little sprinklers that I'm not running that frequently. But the dahlias are also doing fantastic. Those guys down there, fantastic, absolutely loving it. Flower baskets, yeah, I can grow sweet potato vine, but nothing else. So right now I'm just kind of in this in-between zone to where it's still rather hot. I could probably get away with like another X screen application, like at a really low rate. But the results I'm seeing solely with the MFT, I'm just going to stick with that or I'm probably going to switch over. I'm going to start using FFF since it has a little bit more nitrogen in it. And that'll just keep things going because I don't feel the need to actually use anything else right now at this time. That's it. This yard outside of some X green in the beginning of the year. And everyone knows I love my X green. It's been rocking nothing but peptides all season long and minus the ryegrass that died, which I was fully expecting that. It might come back because it's of the RPR variety. The KBG is looking fantastic. And I couldn't ask for anything more. Even with this heat, soil temps above where root growth would stop, where top growth stops, it's there and it's still trucking on. And I'm still seeing the top growth slow down, but I'm still seeing it. The roots at three inches, and that was with some of the bottom bits breaking off. I can't complain. So yeah, it's absolutely amazing. That's it for my Kentucky bluegrass in July in the transition zone in East Tennessee where I'm not supposed to technically be growing this stuff, but it seems to be doing fine. The ryegrass, yeah, that checked out a while ago, but that's okay. It's looking really, really good though. And I'm so excited that it's doing as well as it's doing. Absolutely pleased with that. So if you have any questions on anything, anything about the peptides, drop them below. There'll be a link as well down there below if you wanna check it out a little bit further. Hey, and with that, it's Mike Rillo Dad trying to not sweat like crazy and we will see you again soon.